What's up my little unicorns, old and new? It's Wes Indy Ray back again with my manifestation notebook and another video. Now today I just want to come back and speak to you guys about the power of manifestation. I have a video that I did a couple months ago maybe where I talked about manifestation and how I manifested money and this time I manifested something that's even better. I actually manifested the job that I've been trying to get for like years. So basically you guys know I am a rattler so woo child is a rattler. I graduated from the illustrious Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. Great school, you guys know I rep really hard. If you guys like this merchandise, if you are a Rattler, or if you just like HBCU merchandise, please follow a girl on Instagram. Her name is Kate the Great, and she produces amazing, amazing clothes. I have more than one piece of her apparel. I'm not getting paid to say this, she doesn't even know I'm saying this, but she's super, super dope. If you guys like HBCU apparel or Fanny Rattler apparel, please go check it out. So basically, ever since my graduation, I have been trying to get jobs in my field. I did a lot of radio work while I was in college. I had a radio show and I'd be like, what's up y'all? It's Wes Indy Ray, your favorite lady DJ, back again on another Wednesday. And I just love, 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 love radio. My professors used to kind of push me to be like an anchor or a host or something like that. And it's not something that I initially wanted to do, but I did believe that I had the perfect face for radio and I wanted to try that avenue out. Now it takes forever to get into this field and I was working tirelessly um, for the time that I graduated all the way up until I want to say September of 2017. I was so stressed, so depressed. Looking for work in my field, I ended up having two jobs, but I was pretty miserable. So the effort continued and continued. I got another job doing something else that's completely unrelated doing that for a while I'm still doing that but I still was yearning to get a job in another field the field that I studied so over and over again I kept applying for this one company that I wanted to work for for like I said the past two years I didn't really think about the manifestation part of it like think about it work towards it prepare your life for it and it'll come to you I was just thinking like let me just apply and see, but maybe they won't accept me. Like, I don't know, uh, is this time gonna be like last time? I was really like sick over it all the other times that I applied, but this time because, you know, I've uncovered the beauty of the law of attraction and manifestation, I went into this with confidence. So much so that I wrote into my book and I will tell you the exact date that I wrote and what exactly I said. And I was very specific about it. If you guys want all the details on how I choose to manifest the things that I desire in my life, please go to the description box after this video and watch that video. It'll give you like all the tea on exactly what you need to do or what has been working for me. Everybody has their own practices. I can just tell you what works for me, but all that information is down in the description box below. So as I usually do, I pulled out my handy dandy manifestation book and I wrote on April 21st, 2019. I actually applied for the job first and then I went ahead and wrote this and I said, I have received a job as blank with blank. <laughs> a company I love working for that allows me to grow all around. I love this position and it fits in with my life. I love those who I work with. I'm taken care of financially. It's written, thank you for your grace and for always allowing me to have an active role because I spoke in my other video about having an active role in your life and how we've been blessed with that honor. I continue to write, this will happen in the next three weeks. It will all come together. The universe will bend and shift in my favor. And at the end of it, I say thankful for this job that I have and will keep it as long as it serves me, okay? I wrote that last, last part after I already got the job because it actually worked. And you guys know that I'm good with showing gratitude and giving thanks for the things that I've received. So the first thing that happened to me in the cycle of this, because at this time, I only had my resume in. Like I only did the application, did not have any contacts, no idea where I would get any, but things just started falling into place. The first thing that happened to me happened while I was at work. And I'm talking to this lady and she's like, you need to go in there, like they need to see your face. You can't just sit here and expect for these people to look at your application. Like once they see you and they see who you are and how your personality is, they're going to hire you, I promise you. So I was like, okay, bet. Lo and behold, I randomly found out through another friend that a girl who I used to work with on the radio station while I was in school works in the same department that I was trying to get into. Mind you, I completely didn't know, didn't even know she was in this area, but a, my friend just like happened to tell me. And I was like, bad. 
okay. So I hit this friend up, she gives me the email of her manager, and I email this lady, she does not reply. And this is all happening within a week, like one piece of information comes and then I use it, another piece of information comes and then I use it, and then I get a roadblock and then I get past it. Like all this stuff is happening within a week. So I decide, okay, even though she didn't reply to my email, I am going to pop up at this office. Mind you, there's a gate, you have to be buzzed in, all this stuff. People don't just show up there unless they are coming to pick something up or they have a purpose there. But I'm like, that's not gonna be a problem for me because I'm gonna find a way into this building. Lo and behold, when I pull up, the security guard is about to clock in, so he's on his way in the building too. So I sneak in behind him, I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, all I need to do is get my two feet in this door. So we're like having a conversation, and I'm like, yeah, I emailed you know, I just had something to drop off to her, like it's no big deal, is she in the office? Mind you, this lady never replied to my email, she does not know me, but I'm acting like I know her, and I'm like talking to this guy as if we're old friends. So he's like, no, she actually doesn't come until later on these days, but he told me that he would take the document, it was like a resume and a cover letter in like a resume cover, because I'm professional like that. He told me that he would take the document and deliver it to her whenever she came in. Right as I'm giving this man my document, my paperwork, okay? Okay? This lady comes into work early and he's like, well actually that's her right there walking up to the building and I get another spark in my eyes. I'm like, yes. So she comes in and I'm like, hi, sorry to bombard you, but you know, I emailed you the other day. I just want to drop this off in person, show my face and all that good stuff. And she's looking at me like, I don't know who this girl is until she opens it. And she's like, oh yeah, I did end up seeing this resume. Like, I remember that. Hi, you want to talk over here. There was one question that I felt like was super, super crucial that I didn't have an answer for, so I kind of had like fudge it. And I was like, did I just ruin my chances? No, I didn't just ruin my chances because this is all set in stone. I already know that this job is mine. It's in my pocket. And there is nothing that anybody can do to stop the energy that I have attracted to myself. So I end up leaving and she tells me how great it is to meet me and she's like, hopefully I'll see you again soon. I'm like, yeah, call me. <laughs> So all I gotta do is call me, I'll be here. So I leave and don't forget that I wrote that note in my manifestation notebook on the 21st of April. And on the 29th, I get an email entitled, Action Needed, do you accept our offer? Mind you, I said this would happen in three weeks, it happened in eight days. So I'm like, wow, again, manifestation, law of attraction working in my favor. Like I said before, the universe bending and shifting for me. And it just made me so hyped because I'm like really happy inside that the things that I tell you guys to do or that I suggest that you guys to do because really you do what you want to do are actually working. I'm not telling you anything that I have not experienced myself. And it's such a beautiful feeling to know that we can all get exactly what we want out of life and more. It forces us to dream and push ourselves further and be loving and kind and grateful for for everything that we have. Knowing that you can and will have the best is such a game changer. And when I look back at times when I was like so depressed, feeling like I was gonna run out of money any minute now and really like depending on you guys, like my YouTube family, like my little unicorns to uplift me every day. Like there were times in my life when I needed like a friend so bad I would look at my comment section and all the nice things that you guys would say about me and that was the thing that like kept me going oh my god what is going on sorry and that is why I'm so grateful and it keeps me pushing you know and it's like even this I manifested when I started this channel and in my notes I wrote how this is gonna be a place of love and support for many women especially women who have been marginalized like honestly this is one of my greatest manifestations like I could talk all day about the job that I just got that I'm so happy about that I've already started it's amazing I could talk all day about the money that I manifest but at the end of the day the fact that you guys are here on my channel showing me love all the time and sharing your stories that I read every last one of them that is one of my greatest manifestations that I've ever done. I'm so thankful that I've been able to attract each and every one of you and I just urge you to really like be an active player in your life and use these tips and tricks that I am relaying to you because really it's like heaven sent. And I'm so 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 thankful and grateful that I have stumbled across this and others like Lior Alexandra who I love. You guys know I'm a baby elephant and I love her. So if you guys see her videos make sure you comment 
Wes Indy Ray is your literal biggest fan and she talks about you all the time because I do really love her. But you guys, like, sorry, I know I just got emotional right there. I just wanted to share my story with you of my latest biggest accomplishment and talk about really what I'm so, so, so grateful for having you guys here to show me the power of manifestation and the power of me being able to do whatever I want to do in life. You guys are a product of that and I love each and every one of you so much. It doesn't even make sense. So I hope my tears didn't freak you out too much. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all my social media accounts right down there. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure you drop me a little unicorn because you guys know that you're my little mystical unicorns. And I will see you in the next one. Love you so, so much.